All right, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. This is part 16, and in this part, we're just going to continue on our journey in Mexico. So, from where we last left off at Chuparosa, um, we're just going to head into the bar here, and we're going to start a bar fight. Um, now, in this case, I accidentally started fighting a law enforcement officer, so uh, I got a wanted level and a bounty. So that's just great. Just watch out. And make sure you don't do that. Um, I didn't know if it would count because he's like technically an enemy, I guess, at this point. So I tried knocking someone else out first um, before going to save. Uh, but knocking someone out, that should be bar rule number five of seven. So just after that, go and save um, to lose your wanted level and everything and, and uh, restore the peace, I guess. From here, we're going to head just north to Rio del Toro along the uh, kind of edge of the river, the riverbank, um, and I sped up the footage. Again, at this point you also want to be looking out for um, uh, bobcats and uh, citizens to save from the bandito gang, uh, but we're also going to be looking for um, prickly pears in the uh, Punta Orgulo region. So. Uh, Keep an eye out for those, they're going to be like little cactuses with uh, red flowers on them. That's how you know you have found the right thing. Uh, but once you make it here, along the kind of brick wall here, you're going to find a uh, little mound of bricks. Just like all the other treasure locations, you're going to unbury it. Or uncover it. And there you go. That should be Treasure Hunter Challenge number 5 of 10 complete. And from here we're going to call our horse. And we are going to mark Escalera all the way over there. So we're going to do that mission with uh, the Santa. So make your way over there. Keep an eye out for any of the things you need. Um, as you can see we just entered the region where the prickly pears are at. So keep an eye out, keep an eye out for those on the minimap as you're riding along. Uh, feel free to use a survivalist map too if you need to, if you want to. Uh, you can always buy another one if uh, you do end up using it. So right here is where I know it's the first one. I did ride past one at some point, but this is what prickly pears look like. So I decided that since I'm in the area, I'm going to go ahead and look around for those. So there's number one. Right here is where I found number two. There we go. And I think I collect the rest of them later. For now, I'm just going to ride over to Escalera and buy the uh, property here for $150. And that'll be player home number three, or number nine of 13, excuse me, for Escalera. From here, I'm just going to head up the road here. Uh, I don't know why I decided to go on foot, I just did. Um, but once you make it to the top, you start a mission with DeSanta. And you just want to get in the carriage on the shotgun side, passenger side. Uh, you'll end up being able to skip uh, the travel sequence and you'll end up here where he'll want you to mount a horse, so you can go ahead and do that. And at this point, I did get my war horse back, so that's good for me. And you're just going to follow the train. Not too hard. A lot of this mission is just travel, so I did speed up a lot of the uh, footage. And then once you get to here, you'll get some enemies spawned, uh, some of the Reyes rebels. And you just want to take them out. Some of them will target the train. So you just want to keep them from doing damage to the engine. It's not too hard. Your dead eye comes in really handy here for marking. I mean, it always does when you're shooting people. There 
Once you get to about here, there's going to be a couple more guys on the rocks here. And then you can continue on. Some more guys will come around the, uh, or over the hill on some horses. So just take them out. As per usual. At this point, there's going to be some more that come over this hill, or around this hill. And then you can continue riding on. You'll get to the tunnel here, and on the other side of the tunnel, there's going to be uh, some more guys kind of flanking each side. And then some guys on horses that come from that direction that you just saw. Nothing too fancy. Just be careful. Um, the train coming through the tunnel, you don't want to get caught in the tunnel with the train. Because you, if you get hit, or your horse gets hit, I'm pretty sure it instantly dies, or you will instantly die, so. And be careful with the enemies, of course, going through the tunnel and ending up over there as well. Because you want to kill all of them before the train gets too far away from the tunnel, and it spawns the uh, new guys up ahead here. There's going to be some more guys that come over the hill here. And of course some of them are going to go target the train, so... Just take care of them. Don't stop shooting until the red marker leaves the map. That's how you know they're dead. Once the train gets here to Casa Madrugada, you can go the marker, you'll get a little cutscene, and then you'll continue here to chase the train as they've now hijacked it, so you're just gonna follow it and take everyone out from on top of it. Or take everyone, everyone on top of it out from horseback. Once you get to right here, there's gonna be a bunch of guys kind of on this um, cart here, I don't, I don't know what you would call it. I don't know what the term terminology is for trains, but this little section here is going to be a bunch of people. And then once you take them out, you can head to the front of the train to jump on. And once you jump on, you'll get a little cutscene, and the train will stop here, and the mission will end. So from here, uh, I did mark Armadillo, but you uh, want to mark Chuborosa instead, because uh, I just marked Armadillo because that's the closest uh, player home to here, but the uh, the track actually took me close to Chuparosa, so I figured might as well just go to Chuparosa instead of Armadillo. Even though McFarlane's Ranch is technically like a little bit closer. If you cross the uh, bridge. But we might as well stay in Mexico while we're here. No reason to go back to New Austin. Again, keep an eye out for anything that you need, any of the uh, prickly pears, any of the uh, um, bobcats, or in this case right here, you'll see I found a traveler that needs to be saved from the bandits, and this is what it's going to look like when you save citizens from the bandito game. And there you go, that's bandito outfit scrap 4 of 6. But that is randomly spawning, so you might not get it there, you might get it somewhere else, you might have already gotten it. You might have to stay in Mexico a little bit longer to try and find one. But now that we have that out of the way, or at least now that I have that out of the way, I don't have to worry about it anymore. I just gotta worry about prickly pears and a bobcat. And right here is where I realized that might as well go to Chuparosa.
And once you get here, you want to head inside the little, um, I don't know, this building here. And you'll talk to this guy for a stranger task. He'll give you the location of a package that you need to obtain for him. But we'll do that later on. As you can see, it's going to be up on the up to the left of us. But for now, we're going to continue on and uh, go to this little marker, this little small spot that we uh, this unmarked area that I just marked on the map. We're going to head over there, and of course, we're also going to look for prickly pears as well. This is the point where I decided to uh, use a survivalist map to mark all the uh, plants in the area. There we go. That's one. I believe this is prickly pear number three for me. Number four. This looks like the one. Number five. And remember that when you're riding around and you have the map active, you can press, I believe it's down on the D-pad to kind of zoom the map out a little bit to see more of the plants. This is number six, I believe. Here's number seven. And number eight. And that is Survivalist Challenge number 4 of 10 completed. And that also puts us right next to where we need to be, near these uh, rock formations. And it's right in here. You'll find a little chest. Not really what we need, but you can go ahead and loot it. And we'll climb these kind of steps on this rock. And right at the top here, we'll find another mound of rocks. So just uncover that. And that'll be Treasure Hunter Challenge 6 of 10 completed. So it's another Treasure Hunter Challenge already. So from there, um, I don't even know where I marked, I don't remember where we're going, but go where I marked. Uh, right here, I thought there was a bobcat nearby because I got that little message saying that um, there was an animal nearby. Um, but yeah, that should be the end of the episode, so thanks for tuning in, and make sure you tune into the next one. See ya.